My mind has a random voice that cannot be heard Only thought amidst those thoughts that I try so hard to comprehend now Finding only you there This poem is to challenge the status quo and bring in a new one This poem is for the words that have echoed in my mind since I was real young When I first asked my dad why can't we live in our land like all the other boys can And he held my hand, held back his tears and looked at me and said Son, we're people of a different destiny written for us yeah, we don't have a passport to ever show for it, but we got minds that'll soak up the world's greatest books and write rhymes and we'll get the whole globe to stomp and shake the floor for us. They said it's impossible to achieve world peace. The UN has tried for years. The United Nations with their universal declaration of human destruction. Or is it the rights of destruction? That green light given to Israel to use and abuse the right of every civilian that is Palestinian. Remember us. We're destined for heaven. And God warned us of those that throw us in quicksands of lies and deception. So in this time where ignorance and illiterate minds full and experience like an oblivious crime, you got your mind and your mind is your weapon. Time. A psychological phenomenon of repeated segments reminding you that it's too late. Too late to turn back the hands of time. But what about the rest of its body? Let's turn back the faces of time, turn back the backs of time, and remind this world that we are storytellers who know the power of time. Mr. President, your voice lingers, gunshots, your voice, it resonates with gunshots, Mr. President, and they are only five years old and they know who the hell you are. See, so I'll keep my words cocked like gunshots and ch -ch -ch bam, word shot, bam, thoughts, bam, bam, ideas, light bulbs, bam, bam facts blown in this fake matrix world shell. And all we got left is Zion, a few people striving for the truth, so I'm in this mission to win now or forever die on. I forgot to tell you that my son thinks you're an inspiration. He understands every English word you utter, but does not have the vocabulary to respond. See, so we keep our words sharp now. Aim with my mind so my eyes lock target, and I wait for the next stupid thing that any mouse sparks. And like a candle in the dark, I'm a shoot arrows with my thought to eliminate this belligerent hate and light up the room and bring back nerd to the cool and move it back to the front of the bus like Rosa Park. You see, so freedom is no longer an abstraction to my little boy. Freedom is what's missing in the air we breathe. I forgot to tell you that my daughter just turned two and the burns on her skin from your heat bombs are good, still as good as new and that, Mr. President, she owes to you. See, this is meant to challenge racism. This is not for a video clip. This is for every time I'm at customs and I say I'm from Gaza, they don't have to tell me to act the rest of the word and strip. This is for every time I throw my W's up to know that I'm from the West Bank. This is for every time I tilt it to the side. I push for education, eminence, and existence. This is for the mothers raising children in ruins whose heartbeats sound more like ticking bombs because that's all they've ever heard. See, so we have to use our mind. We have to make it our weapon. I mean, where we live, we all know that a gun can make a final decision. But a well-formed, deep-stroke thought of reality can have an endless ripple. I mean, look at Sun Tzu, Khalil Gibran, and Emily Dickinson. Mahmoud Darwish is my Palestinian hero rendition. This is our war against ignorance. This is our war to leaven. This is our war for the new generation and this is our word. Your, your mind, mind is, is your, your weapon. weapon.